I have two types of onion in my raised bed. I've stood out a giant and stirred on. The ones you're looking at are stood out a giant. Once you see this, the guys have gone to seed. It's pointless leaving them in. Now you're not going to get onion out of that. You may as well eat them as they are. So these guys have gone to seed. You can see the seed head. I've lifted them out. More space for the others to grow on. And we'll prepare these as best we can for the pot. So stewed on seem to be doing the best of the two at the moment. There's none of the stewed on gone to seed. Just these Stuttgart giants. This is my bottom raised bed. This is my onion bed. And as you can see, some of the onions are starting to go over now. Uh, that's not because they're ready to go over, it's because of the winds we've been having. Uh, the onion in this half of the bed is an onion called Stuttgart a giant. You can see some gaps, and that's where we've been taking onions for the table. If we go up to the other end of the onion bed, you'll see that We're quite full. I haven't taken any onions from this end. And this is an onion called Sturon. Um, so we're eating the Stuttgarter Giants, but not the Sturons just yet. Okay, we'll have a look at the uh, middle raised bed now. This is the middle raised bed. And as you can see, these are my shallots. And these shallots are about ready now. I'll be using them out over the next uh, few weeks and drying them out. These are my carrots. Great tops on them. Bottoms aren't so good yet. But hopefully they'll get there. Two rows of carrots. I've sneaked a row of beetroot in there but I don't think they'll make anything. And just behind the carrots we've got these huge turnips. It's the leaves that are big. The turnips aren't that big yet. Um, but we're getting a bit overcrowded here. Go past the turnips. And we have some more beetroot. Uh, another couple of rows of beetroot there. It's coming along nicely. Then if we just pan round. Um, you can see the leeks in the back there. Uh, and above the leeks we've got these uh, Bunyard Exhibition broad beans. They're into flower now, they've all been pinched out. We'll go right up to the top. You can see that this bean's been pinched out. That's the deter black, black fly. And that's done as soon as the bottom flowers are start to set. And as you can see, these guys have started to set. You can see the small pods. Right, we'll go up to the top raised bed now. This is the top raised bed. These are my courgettes. Uh, you can see there's quite a few courgettes on here now. These guys are ready to come off. I'll, I'll be needing to harvest those um, before long. Uh, we've got a bit jam packed here. We've got some dwarf broad beans. We've got some dwarf runner beans. And we've got some peas that I got given. Um, and they really are crammed in. Uh, but yeah, we'll give them a go. That's how they do. These are my parsnips. Okay, you can see they've got quite big bottoms on them. Quite good foliage. Um, but still a long way to go for the parsnips. And this is the celery. We've got a row of celery here, yeah? And that celery is protected by those cut off pop bottles. It's come on quite well, that celery. I'm pleased with that. That's a celery. Just come up a bit. These are uh, four Brussels sprouts I had given. Okay, and they're starting to kick on really well. These guys are getting well up the poles now. That's the Brussels sprouts. And these are the Bunyard Exhibition. Broad beans, as you can see, there's loads on there. They haven't actually filled out yet. Um, so we'll just have to let them go a bit longer uh, till they fill out. But we'll, we'll be taking those within a week or two, I'll guess. 
And at the back here we've got some uh, mange too. Something I've never grown before. But as you can see there are, there are plenty on there. I'll be needing to get those off uh, shortly. Okay, so that's your um, July raised bed update from homegrown veg. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is homegrown veg. Signing out. <laughs>